Hi, this is Brandon Jones with the University of Cincinnati and Northwestern University. In this video, we're going to look at how to resolve action bar activity cannot be resolved to type. This is a common issue in a scenario like this. Uh, one that I face a lot is I'm grading. I have a student's project, or maybe I'm working with somebody else and I uh, unzip the project, and I unzip it here, and then I go into Eclipse and I say File Import, and I say existing Android code in the workspace, on and on and on, and refresh, and I've actually already imported this one, but normally at this point I would uh, import and, and there we go. And as soon as the project is imported, what we're gonna see is that it doesn't compile, and we get a very strange message that says action bar activity cannot be resolved to a type. Meanwhile, the person who wrote this says, well, it works fine for me. Uh, it must be something with your computer. So what is it? Well, here's how we fix it. What we need to do, first of all, is we need to have this app compat library already on our system. Uh, you probably already have this. You just need to import it as an existing Android project. So for this, I'm going to go to Browse, and I'm going to go to my, S my uh, Android SDK home. Now, what do I mean by the SDK Home? If you don't know what yours is, it's easy to find. Go to Window Preferences, Android, and it's this right here. C Programs Android, Android SDK. That's specific to my computer. That's where I happen to install mine. Yours will likely be in a different place. So go to uh, Window Preferences, Android, and, and see what you find there. So, okay, uh, I am going to Browse, and I'm going to go to Computer, and I said it was C Programs. For me, C programs and then under programs Android, uh, Android SDK extras Android compatibility v7 app compat. Okay, so this is the project that we need to import, and you see it comes up here as app compat v7. Now, once again, I have already imported this, so um, I can't import it again, but what I would normally do here is click on this and then hit finish. And then what's going to happen is we're going to see this app compat library up here. So I've already done it, so it's already there. Okay, that's step one. We have to do that first. After we've done that, let's go back and fix the project that's giving us the error. This is a little bit off screen, so I'm going to try to adjust this. Right click, and I'm going to say properties. I realize properties is falling a bit off screen, but that's the last uh, option we have at the bottom. And what we'll typically see is we'll typically see a library down here with a red X. Uh, the reason why it has a red X is that's the path to AppCompat on, uh, on the computer where the program was created. We need to add a reference to our own library. So I choose, I, I remove the one with the red X, I choose AppCompat v7, and I choose OK. Now there's one more step that's a little bit tricky, and that is when we use our app compat library, it has a uh, conflict with this Android support v7 jar, which is down here in libs. So I'm going to expand libs, I'm going to select that, and I'm going to choose OK to delete. Uh, I'm going to give it a second to refresh, and now all the errors are gone. You see action bar activity, it can now identify that. No more red lines in this project. So, if you're getting the uh, action bar activity cannot be resolved to a type, uh, step number one, import the app compat library if you haven't already done so. Step number two, right click on the offending project. Uh, you'll typically see a red X here with app compat. That's a full file path to the user system. Uh, the user who created this project might not be relevant on your system, it might be user specific. Choose remove, choose add. Pick the uh, library, and you see I can't uh, pick it now because I've already picked it once. Uh, pick the app compat library, uh, go to the libs tab, and uh, after you've done this, go to the libs tab, delete the Android support v4. You'll see here, this is the Google Play Services library. Uh, if you're getting errors with the Google Play Services, you might need to do the same thing there. If you see a red X and Google Play Services lib, you might have to remove it. It might be a specific path that the user has set up, and then you might need to add your own Google Play Services lib. If that's of interest to you, I can do a separate video on that. Uh, but this is a quick video on 
action bar activity. Hope that helps. Let me know. Uh, comments, likes, suggestions are always welcome. Thank you.